Hello, everyone. This is Johnny. I'm a product manager in Sunkit in Dutch. In this video, I would like to share how to design a metal O-ring and how to design your groove to install a metal O-ring properly. So before I share the, the designation, please let me share with you our product. Mental O-ring. Maybe you are new to mental O-ring, but mental O-ring is very commonly used in high temperature, high pressure, and uh, some conditions even involved with the radiation, even involved with cor corrosion. For all these co working conditions, mental O-ring can be used in, in such extreme working conditions. So that's why metal O-ring is usually picked up by the engineer who, who worked in the high-end industry. So let me switch to my screen and uh, you will have a better understanding about metal O-ring. So, Metal O-ring is basically use a tube You use a tube and uh, using a wedding to in, into a ring so the ring can be pressed can be comprised when the metal O-ring is deployed in the groove so that's why it can provide the ceiling effect when the engineer using metal o ring in, in a working application. So this basically metal o ring can be used for internal pressure and also can be used in external pressure. So based on our experience, when you choose a metal o ring, please be Please confirm that uh, what kind of material you need to uh, you need to use in your application because depend on different work conditions like different temperature uh, temperature and the different pressure the different material can be used so here I list the common mental materials for for you to choose like allowing 718 allowing 715 allowing 600 and also we can use standard steel 316 321 standard steel and we also provide the was priority all this material can be used in mental o-ring production and also for the common printing options we can use silver. Silver is very commonly used in in a, in a metal array to improve the sealing effect. And also we can use the nickel, gold, and the staninum, and also copper, PTFE. So first of all, when you check your metal array application, you can you can uh, roughly give an estimation how much is your is a groove the width of your groove then you can you can find in a table in the right which mean uh, which you can say the the specific cross section size for the mental seal in the middle in in the middle section of the table we share the all the cross sections you can pick in in our production so first of all remember to choose your your cross section you can also call it call, call it actual section here then based on this you can go to the left to find out the the groove dimension and uh, you will know how to design your groove if you cannot understand properly you can refer to the joining in the left in the left, we just uh, give you a straightforward joining 
so that you can understand how the how the metal o-ring is placed into a groove so here for this joining and for example the metal groove is placed in the internal pressure and uh, you can you can see the wg wg means the width of the groove and uh, the dg the depth of the groove the the uh, the dg is the groove diameter groove diameter and the dc and the dc so based on these uh, figures you can calculate how large is your uh, how large is your dc need if you want to place a a metal array here so it's uh, very straightforward and it's very uh, simple once you understand how to uh, how to check uh, which fa fa factor first then based on this factor actually here you can just check the cross section first based on this you you will know you will know how to how to choose your your groove dimension and uh, also we provide some performance data here for your reference like the load like the setting load like the uh, spawns back size so all of the all this data collect all, all of this data you can you can formulate your own groove design and uh, based on this you can uh, you, you can pick up a specific mental array for your application so it's it's very it's, it's very it's very straightforward just the refer the table here just refer the, the joint here and then you will uh, i think you will pick up the suitable mental seal for your for your application after that when you design your groove and we also have some recommendation for your groove finish because this is also a critical factor to to achieve the target setting effect in your application so sometimes um people uh, my customer will come to me and say that, uh, that they found some leakage in in uh, after they deployed the mental seal and uh, we go we went to uh, we went to uh, the, the customer side and check that some sometimes they just uh, didn't uh, get a uh, a proper groove finish so that this leads the lead of the of the mental of, of mental seal. So depending on your medium um, of your application, different uh, mental seal, uh, di different groove finish is is uh, is recommended here. So I just we just list the three types of the media and just refer the list uh, table to achieve your, your your groove finish and after that you are welcome to you are uh, you are you can free you can you can based on our instruction how to install a mental seal and uh, then you can you can test that application if there's any any leakage so uh, refer to the groove finish first and uh, design your your groove then after that, uh, we have some typical applications which you can refer if you if it's, uh, uh, if you if you can refer to the applications like hot mode equipment, uh, which is a very common uh, uh, industrial that can use metals or rain, and also the nu nuclear industrial uh, to to you know to to uh, withhold the the radiation and also the gas to um, turbines. And uh, some fuel systems, ex exhaust exhaust uh, connections, all of all these industrial can, industries can be used can can use the mental array. So uh, similarly, for the mental uh, array external pressure, you will find all the all the informations here, all the informations like the carbon material um, and metallic material options and the common planting options and also the groove joining you can you can find the the calculation how to calculate your, your groove uh, diameter how to calculate your your groove width groove depth and uh, these are the recommendations from our experience and from our experiment you can 
you can first pick up your, the, the actual section of the mental ordering and based on this we have some recommendation data for you to design your your groove what kind of um, groove diameter we can support for each uh, for each actual section size so uh, for the mental seal so based so basically refer to this table you can pick up the size of the mental array so basically uh, you can use this document to design your mental o-ring either for internal pressure or other or for the external pressure you can quickly uh, f you, you can quickly pick up one that uh, can be used in your application and achieve your target setting requirement so if you if you find my video is helpful please please sub please uh, click the like and uh, sub subscribe our channel i will hear for you and uh, deliver more videos for your for 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 your mental seal knowledge so see you next time